Thank you for being here. May, may I ask where you were before this? Um, she was door knocking. to community. You said she was at a donor meeting. Or is, you were at a donor meeting? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's ask the first question that we started with, um, which is from the Crown Heights Tenants Union, which has to do with um, donations to the campaign. That's obviously a big issue right now, so we're going to talk about that. Um, okay. So, hold on just a second. The Crown Heights Tenants Union is calling on all candidates for the 43rd Assembly District to refuse to take developer donations from developers, landlord, and real estate lobbies, and to give back if they've taken that already. Has your campaign taken any real estate money so far? As according to the newspaper, yes. Can you explain what you mean by that? I read the article in the newspaper that said I took real estate money. Right, donations um, from developers. Okay. When I looked at my financial, I didn't see those names there. No, no. Louder, please. Speak up. When I looked at my financial. That's actually not the microphone. It's just, yeah. Oh. There's no microphone. That's just for nearby. When I looked at my financial, I didn't see the names that were in the newspaper. And that's what I told the tenants, uh, Pat. Okay. All right. And um, she asked me if I did find that it was, uh, it was real estate money, would I give it back? And I told her I'd have to check with the campaign because they may have spent it already because it was $5,000. Okay. So to clarify, if it has been spent already, it can't be given back. It won't be given back. More than likely. No. Okay. If it hasn't been spent, if it's there and you find it and it's from a developer and you can prove that, would you give it back? I haven't decided, but what I will do. Oh. 